The Senate has amended the Senate Standing Rules 2015 and approved a simple majority for the election of presiding officers. The upper chamber also retained a closed ballot system of voting for the election of the President of the Senate and the Deputy. The amendment of the rules followed the consideration of a motion pursuant to Order 111 of the Senate Standing Rule 2015, which was sponsored by the Chairman of the Committee on Rules and Business, Senator Suleiman Sadiq, and the Vice Chairman, who is Senator, the Senate Leader Yahya Moha Abdullahi. The Rules and Business Committee had proposed a two-third majority in its report. Mixed reaction as legislators look through the amended standing rule for the election of the President of the Senate and the Deputy. We are talking about the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's not a, it's not, it's not a mild matter. It's not a simple matter. We are talking about the first city, the inauguration of the Senate. I think two-thirds is good enough. Ordinarily, yes, we could say two-thirds is good, but in the climb that, and in the way we operate. So if maybe one plus, maybe one third, just decide that, okay, we are not coming because we want to stall this, they will succeed. I want to believe that particularly with our experience, that a simple majority will suffice in this, uh, uh, in this, uh, what we are trying to do. My amendment is simple majority that is based on at least to total representation across the country. President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, cautions against an amendment in the direction of a two-third majority, saying it can be exploited to stall the inauguration and the election of presiding officers. And there is a counter-argument that if that becomes the law, some people could decide to ensure that the inauguration of elections never take place that day. So all they will need to do is not only not to come, but prevent others from coming to stall the election of presiding officers or even the inauguration of the Senate. I, I, I think the two arguments are clear here. Each one is really convincing, but I think we need to be careful because it's much, much easier for someone or some people to frustrate the inauguration. Order 96 is also amended. This will make provision for senators to be members of not more than seven committees at a time, while committee membership will consist of not less than seven members and not more than 20 members at most. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.